Oh, oh yeah! What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Monster Bass Channel. I'm Brad with Chill Outdoors, and we're gonna talk a little bit today about how to keep your mind open and thinking outside the box when you're rigging up before you go fishing. Now, before we talk about that, make sure you follow and subscribe right here on the Monster Bass Channel. Make sure you click the little bell so you get notifications. And make sure you check out Monster Bass on Facebook and Instagram. And if you're feeling oh so kind, you can check me out on Shield Outdoors on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and especially YouTube. Now, let's look at some of these lures. This video kicked off in my mind after I got a lot of questions. When I showed this Z-Man cross-eyed jig and a Christy Craw that I paired together, both these items came in Monster Bass boxes. And I had a lot of questions. People were like, what are some of your favorite combos? So today we're gonna talk about over 20 ways that you can rig one curly tail chase bait. Now, as you can see on an item like this, I perfectly match these colors. Everything just came together so well on that. But it doesn't always have to be like that, right? Today we're gonna look at the chase baits four inch curly bait. It is a big old ribbed body curly tail worm, just as it sounds. Here's a couple still in the package. This color specifically is called apple juice. So like I said, the body is ribbed. They have eye, like glued on eyes. And what, what I mean by that is, it's like actually a little holographic shiny eyeball that's glued onto the head of the bait right here at the nose. And then a big, fat, classic curly tail. Now, my buddy has monster bass. He also got chase baits, curly baits, but these are 2.25. The color on these is Milk Flash. So luckily he got this color and this size. I got what I got. And now I can make a video showing you guys both. So his, just like mine, except much tinier. Now this color is like uh, white on the bottom, clear on top with a lot of gold glitter. Whereas the apple juice is kind of a clearish, um, apple juice color is like the best way to put it, I guess. It's like a clear bait with purple glitter though. Same eyes, same shape, same big fat curly tail. The number one thing I want you to take away from this video is that you need to think outside the box. And what I mean by that is, don't ever close yourself off to only one way when you rig an item. Look at all these different items. Almost all of these I got out of Monster Bass boxes. So right off the bat when I opened my October Monster Bass box and I saw these chase baits, well these, I also saw a thunder cricket and I thought, well ain't that just perfect a bladed jig with a big fat curly tail. And here's the thing, you don't have to use this big one. You could easily put this little guy on there and have a more compact setup. Depending on what time of the year it is and what your forage is in your local water, you may not want a big giant fat bait. You might want this little guy. So either way, you could give this a shot on the Thunder Cricket. Now, bladed jigs, I got a ton of them. I got Falcon Lake Craw Thunder Cricket. I got the Black Blue Thunder Cricket. This color is like a green with a black flake. And look how good that apple juice fits in. Now, I'm not gonna close my mind off to just that, right? Everybody's throwing paddle tail swim baits, especially this time of year, right? Why would you not try a curly tail? Just a simple underspin. We looked at these in our last month's box for Monster Bass, right? So an underspin with a curly tail, just switching it up. Everybody's throwing a paddle tail, switch it up. Uh, let's see now of course there's the classics Texas rig you could even uh, you could drop shot this bad boy You could especially drop shot this little guy Carolina rig keep it down there on the bottom my walleye guys they see stuff like this They just start thinking about walleyes, but everybody thinks about that kind of stuff How about a buzz bait a little buzz bait for my little guy here? Ain't nothing stopping you from putting this sucker right here on this little buzz bait. Oh, what? You like big buzz baits? The Strike King Buzz Toad? Look how big that sucker is. That would easily take this giant four inch curly tail. And now you've put movement on the back. A lot of people are weary of buzz baits because the movement is in the front and they feel like they miss the hook. The, the fish misses the hook. So why not put a big old curly tail back there? Also from a Monster Bass box, the Z-Man, Sling Blade Z. I haven't even opened this bad boy up. Ain't nothing stopping me from putting that curly tail on that sucker. Or, oh, I don't want the big one. The little one. Just a little extra kick. There ain't nothing wrong with that. 
you know, sometimes people need minimalist stuff, right? That's too much flash, that's too much movement, too much vibration. How about a lifted jig? This is the lifted uh, ball head jig. Got it out of a Monster Bass box. Ain't nothing stopping me from putting these suckers on here. Oh, you don't like the way that the that a, a jig head moves? Well, how about a belly weighted swim bait hook with a screw lock? Y'all, you just gotta keep your mind open. How about a, uh, how about just regular colored swim jigs? This is a V&M. How about another Z-Man product, the Freedom? This is a jointed jig head chatter bait. How about, a, oh, another Monster Bass item. Some sandbar tackle. A couple months ago, we got these sandbar tackle hooks. You could rig this any way you want. You could even do a giant drop shot with a, with a hook like this. Um, let's see, jointed structured heads, also a Strike King product. Let's see, oh, oh, what, going into winter? What do we have here? An Alabama rig. Everybody uses a paddle tail on their Alabama rig. If you wanna be different, if you're fishing pressured water, you could set up an entire Alabama rig with this, or maybe you have two or three paddle tails on this sucker, and then you set up your chase. Whoa, take it easy. Maybe you set up your chase item, and what I mean by that is, a lot of people will have three items like closer to the head of their Alabama rig, and then they'll have a big trailer way back here. Maybe switch it up because the fish are gonna key in on the uniqueness, right? A lot of times they key in on what's different on an Alabama rig. A lot of people will throw like three white swim baits and then a clear one or vice versa or just something to throw off that back bait from the rest. So why not throw a big fat curly tail on the back? Oh, what? Also right here in my October box, spear point hooks. Now this little pack, two out, three out, four out, you get one of each with an extra wide gap. The options are endless. Now, why did I make this video? Why did I make this? I want you guys to keep your mind wide open. There's a million ways to rig fish and lures. There's a million ways to catch a fish. One of the biggest things I like about Monster Bass is the variety of stuff they give you. Almost everything here I got in Monster Bass boxes or you could see in a Monster Bass box. Every item on this table is companies that Monster Bass has an established relationship with and you could see in their box at some point. You just gotta keep your mind open. I mean, this, this little curly tail right here, I could easily rig up onto two other baits in this one box alone. You just gotta keep your mind open. On the last Monster Bass video that I was featured in, we had over 100 comments. I want that again. I want everybody to drop below and drop a comment right here. Make sure you click that subscribe button and follow. Make sure you let us know what else you'd like to see. I'm telling y'all, don't sleep on Monster Bass. Keep your mind open, keep your ideas open. This all started just because I put a Christie Craw on a cross-eyed jig. And now here I'm looking at 20 different ways to rig just a simple curly tail. This is what most people start fishing on. Most people start fishing with a curly tail bait. And Chase Baits is over here providing us one lure that we can use over 20 different ways. Just telling y'all, keep your mind open, keep fishing. Thank you so much. Make sure you check out Monster Bass. Peace.